Once you know how to conduct a geriatric assessment, it's time to analyze your patient's answers to the self-administered tools and the results of the physical examination in order to estimate treatment risk and prognosis, provide targeted intervention, and optimize treatment. In this particular case, we have a 70-year-old woman who has a new diagnosis of colon cancer metastatic to the liver. While her performance status is good, the geriatric assessment told me even more about her strengths and vulnerabilities. I'm ready to discuss the findings with the patient to create targeted interventions and share with her how the findings impact my recommendations about her chemotherapy. Hi, Judy, how are you? I'm fine, Dr. Amy, how are you? I'm well, thank you. I'd like to review the results of your geriatric assessment with you. Okay. Uh, but first, I'd like to ask you about some falls. You reported that you had two falls in the last few months. I did. I was rushing to get to the phone because I thought it might be my biopsy results, and I tripped on a rug. Mm. And the second time, I, I, you know, I've got that neuropathy, and I hadn't been sleeping well, so I took one of those over-the-counter sleeping pills, and I got up to go to the bathroom, and I fell again. Okay. Well, those are some things that we need to talk about. And I'd like to suggest a home safety evaluation for you. Uh, this can help to identify things like throw rugs that are a tripping hazard. And we can look at your lighting and see if maybe we need to increase your lighting so that if you have to get up in the middle of the night, you know, there's less of a fall risk for okay. you. And, you know, regarding that sleeping pill that you took, I'd like to review your medications with our geriatric pharmacist so that we can review some medications that might be appropriate for you or some medications that may you know, pose a risk, like a sleeping pill, because we really we don't want you to fall. Uh, and I'd like to suggest a physical therapy evaluation so that we can work on your strength and balance before starting chemotherapy. Yeah, about that chemotherapy, I'm not sure I want to do chemotherapy. You know, I feel really good right now, and I don't want to do anything that's going to interfere with my quality of life. Yeah, I understand. That's, that's a common sentiment that patients have. And we don't want to do anything that's going to compromise your quality of life either. And chemotherapy is a tool that can help you to live longer, and sometimes patients feel better with it, but we have to be really cautious about the side effects. So I've actually inputted your information into the Cancer and Aging Research Group Chemotherapy Toxicity Calculator. And um, it shows you know, what your risk might be for having side effects, and based on this, I think I'd like to suggest one chemotherapy agent instead of two, and maybe combine that with a targeted agent for you, so we can try to treat your cancer without compromising your quality of life too much. I like that idea. Okay, good. I hope this video has helped you get an idea of how the results from the geriatric assessment can help build a treatment plan and foster communication with the patient. Thank you for watching.